It's among North Carolina's newest state parks and was once a favorite getaway for one of the country's wealthiest families. Carver's Creek State Park opened two years ago and now it provides a serene getaway just outside the gates of Fort Bragg. From quiet walks in the woods to fishing on a pond, Carver's Creek is a true get back to nature experience. And as Brian Mims shows us, it will only get better in the years to come. The scenery out here at Carver's Creek is classic Carolina. It's where longleaf pines meet cypress stands and where a worm meets a hook. Here's Pamela Dyke and her eight-year-old son Joshua at twilight, ready to do some reeling. They're on a fishing pier overlooking the cypress ringed mill pond that's the centerpiece of this state park. Well, it's not overcrowded, that's for sure. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Carver's Creek is one of North Carolina's newest state parks and the first one in Cumberland County. It preserves 4,300 acres of Sand Hills scenery from the eastern edge of Fort Bragg clear to the Cape Fear River. Only a few hundred acres are open to the public now, but the master plan for the next 20 years or so calls for extensive hiking and biking and horse trails, canoe rentals, campsites, and visitor centers. Oh, the fish, the beauty of the woods, the water. This is in the middle of the city, and it's so peaceful at the same time. And the fishing is pretty good, too. Even if Joshua's wet line has hit a dry streak, it's the mom and son bonding that counts. <laughs> he just learned how to bait his own hook today, so that's a good step. <laughs> now let's step away from the water and tread among the footsteps in the sand. This path, separating fallow field from pine-filled forest, leads from the parking lot to the winter home of James Stillman Rockefeller. Yes, that Rockefeller, the family famous for fortune and power. Yale educated and an Olympic gold medalist, he was stationed at Fort Bragg as a lieutenant colonel during World War II. In 1937, he bought some land just off post, the Long Valley Farm, and built this colonial revival style house overlooking the mill pond. After the war, he returned to his New York banking career, but he came here on long weekends and on great escapes from Northern winters. Now, more than a decade after James Rockefeller died and bequeathed this land to the Nature Conservancy, we can come for our own great escapes. Uh, as much as I can. It's probably about my sixth or seventh time. The fishing lures Dexter Kendrick back every time. His catch is there in the coolers. You know, it's a, it's a hike back here to the lake because I come out here to fish, but it's well worth it. The scenery is beautiful. It's clean. You know, the fishing is awesome. It's the awesome photo ops that beckon the shutter bugs. The mill pond with its mirror images has created a ripple effect among photographer Valerie Abraham's clients. Yeah, it's a popular spot for the families that want to get their photos taken in the fall. Or any time of year, really. Each season here has its own camera ready moments. Can't you just picture yourself here? Well, out of all the parks in the area, it has the most variety. Um, for a photographer, what we like is, you know, different scenery. There's the longleaf pine scenery, classic sand hills, and the cypress scenery, classic southern. There's the weathered wood of the old mill and the mill pavilion, and the rustic repose of the old water wheel, classic Americana. Troy Chandler, out here with his dog Daisy, does well in capturing the soul of Carver's Creek. It's just a beautiful place, lots of scenery. The lake is pretty. We walk out to the far pier out there and just enjoy the scenery from out there. Peace and quiet. Take the dog for a walk and uh, just enjoy the wildlife. Oh sure, bring the dog, pack a picnic lunch, grab a rod and reel, listen to the cicadas. Watch the turtles on a log, smell the pines, escape, bond. Carver's Creek has carved out a classic Carolina experience. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Brian Mims. The Carver's Creek State Park entrance is on Long Valley Road, just east of Highway 87 and 24 in Spring Lake. The park is open daily. For more information, go to ncparks.gov.